What's good, YouTube? Vandy here. Today, I'm bringing y'all a Kevin Durant build, man. Now, the positions you want to go to choose is power forward. The hand in this doesn't matter. Jersey number doesn't matter. Now, for the skill breakdown, you're going to want to choose half finishing and half shooting. So, you can get good finishing and good shooting with this build. Now, the physical profile, you're going to want to choose the one with the most speed or agility, whatever you want to call it. You're not going to want a 66 speed running down the court. You're going to want to be a fast motherfucker, man. Now choose that high speed. Now after that, I'm going to upgrade this build. Y'all can copy the stats when I'm done. I'm going to speed it up. Alright, so I'm done upgrading the player. This is what you're going to end off with. 15 finishing badges, 22 shooting, 1 playmaking, and 10 defensive slash rebounding badges. Now the body shape doesn't matter. I'm going to just go slight since it's a Kevin Durant build. Height. Now, I wouldn't stay, say, stay at 6'9 height. And I wouldn't say go to 6'7 because I feel like 6'7 is too short. But 6'8, that's right in the middle. You go from a 68 to a 74 speed get a 72 acceleration and a 67 vertical now for the weight you're gonna want to put the weight down to like around 190 if you put it over that you're not gonna be able to get contact dunks with this build you're able to get big man contact dunks and little man contact dunks the wingspan you're gonna want to put it all the way up so you can dunk on them and you get that 81 driving dunk so you can get those contact dunks at 99 now take over it's up to you Glass cleaner, rim protector, slashing, or sharpshooter. I'm gonna go sharpshooter. Makes the most sense. Now, as you see here, we've built an interior finisher, man. I don't know how it's called an interior finisher, but you're gonna be pulling from the three, and it ain't gonna be like an interior finisher, man. Now, let's get into the badges. All right, now the first badges we're gonna be getting into is the finishing badges. Gonna put on contact finisher, Hall of Fame, slithery finisher, Hall of Fame. Fancy Footwork Hall of Fame and Acrobat on Gold. Now, in my opinion, you could take off Fancy Footwork, put that on. I'll put that on Acrobat and make Acrobat Hall of Fame or Fancy Footwork on Hall of Fame. It's up to you, really. Depends on your play style. Now, for shooting badges, you can go on Green Machine Hall of Fame, Range Extender, Hot Zone Hunter, Dead Eye Hall of Fame, Volume Shooter Silver, Tyler Shooter Silver, and Catch and Shoot Silver. Man, you can mess around with it if you want, but this is the way I would recommend you guys doing it. One play making badge, you might as well put it on unpluckable, man. So you don't get ripped as often. And you're not going to have a high ball handle with this build. But you're not really going to be handling the ball a lot. Now for the last badges, the last but not least, defense. The run protector, gold. Chase down artist, bronze. Intimidator, gold. Clamps on gold. If you feel like you don't need clamps, you can take that off. I mean, you could probably put it on pig dodger, but I'd say this is the best way to run it. You get that chase down artist, get those long blocks. Got that rim protector. Get those blocks. You're going to be a demon in the paint, bro. Demon on defense. You're going to be a demon on offense, too. Look at all these shooting badges you got. And you can dunk on people. You get contact dunks, bro. Only thing you can do is dribble, but you're going to be playing at the two. You're going to be getting set up for these dunks, bro. And you're going to have that high speed. So you're going to be running down the court fast as a motherfucker, bro. Now, this was this build video for you guys. If you like it, subscribe. I'm trying to go crazy. Like the video. I'm going to catch you on the next one.